Hello folks, Clyde Lindsay here from Pixel Pro Displays. Thank you for joining us for another Twinkle Tips Friday. Today we want to do something a little bit more interesting and fun whenever it comes to adding singing faces to your matrix panel. So let's go ahead and get started with this. Okay, um, what you see here is two matrix panels. We're gonna play with the big one first. This is a P10 panel. Well, it's 128 wide by 96 pixels tall. You can utilize your matrix panel or your P10 to uh, include singing faces. And this is what I wanna do is walk you through the download process because there's faces that are built into X lights so I have this matrix panel here and I, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and it's selected here. I'm gonna come over to the dialog here and go to faces. See how that says faces there? This little, you click on it once and you click the triple box there or the triple dots there and it opens up the face definition box. Now this by default will have no faces in it. However, if we add in, uh, we can add in, click on the add button and we give it a name, let's call this Grinch. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna go download a couple images. If we click on the Grinch here, these are some of the uh, uh, images that com uh, the community has built up or added in as part of the Singing Faces initiative. This was done a number of years ago, but these are in x -Lights. You can just download it and you can insert the face right into it. Then we'll click OK. You, you're not limited to just one matrix space. You can add in as many as you like. What if we added something like, what if we added a Santa? We'll download an image and we'll go find Santa. Let's see, right there we go. Um, that's a decent looking Santa. We'll insert the face and now we've got a Santa face. Let's add a third one in, why not? They're free, right? x -Lights does them for free. So what I'm gonna do is uh, let's do a bulb. X Lights has some singing light bulbs that you can insert in there as well. So here's some bulbs. Uh, what do you, you want to do a green bulb? We'll do a green bulb. Or, or there we go. Click OK. Okay, so now let's go over and let's play with these and have a little bit of fun with these and show you how you can apply these to your sequencing. Our example is going to be a uh, bumper track that we created. And uh, if you look at the link in the video up above here, it'll take you right to that if you're interested in picking this up. But let's go ahead and come up here. We'll grab the faces effect. I'm just gonna grab, oh, I guess I need to insert a couple layers here. We're using the P10, insert multiple layers. I just right click, insert multiple layers and click okay. So I'm gonna grab the matrix space here. Uh, hopefully this works good. And we'll just drop it and we'll stretch it out. Now I see, I see this part here, this has the Grinch in it, and I'm going to come over here to where it says faces timing track, and we'll uh, switch this face definition from this rendered, we'll change it to the Grinch. So we're gonna have the Grinch, we can play this here. There they go again year after year. The same Christmas songs I can't bear to hear. So we got the Grinch singing there, that's pretty interesting. We also got a couple other things there. Um, then what we'll do is we'll grab another faces effect and we'll uh, give this to, we'll give the bulb the announcer job. Stretch him out. And we've got the Grinch back talking. bed. But then, a strange. I'm going back to bed. But then, a strange sound came from below. All right, so we've got the second piece in there. Why don't we go ahead and add in Santa here and we'll go ahead and stretch it out and we'll call this the Santa voice because that's the track that we're reading. And we have the face definition for Santa. So there you go. And if we play it here. It wasn't the same. Ho, ho, ho. And there you have it, another Twinkle Tips Friday. I hope that this video has kind of given you a little bit of interest into playing with the faces effect, maybe doing some different things with lyric tracks or, or with uh, bumpers and so forth. And maybe you didn't exactly know how to mess around with this, but you can have multiple faces and that's gonna be the, ne the focus of the next video that we do on this topic uh, because this is something I'm gonna be teaching at Christmas Expo. So you're welcome to join me at the Christmas Expo for that class there that we're going to walk through. And uh, also, uh, if you if you like the video, give us a big thumbs up. If you haven't done yet, so hit the now black subscribe button. It's a black subscribe button, that's all different. But uh, 
and hit the bell for notifications so you never miss a Twinkle Tips Friday video from the Pixel Pro Displays team. And if you appreciate the videos we do here and you like the things that we've done uh, for the community, consider joining the PPD Sequence Club and becoming a club member where each and every month you get one awesome sequence. And not only that, you also get awesome values through our uh, vendor affiliates page with tons and tons of discounts for things that you're already going to buy in the hobby. Our goal is to make the PPD Sequence Club pay for itself through the first year and in, in general with all of your purchases in the hobby. So guys, that's it for me. Thank you for joining me here on Twinkle Tips Friday. This is Clyde signing out. We'll see you next time. Take care.